Since the shuttle program ended in 2011, NASA has not had a way to launch astronauts into space from the U.S. In May, two astronauts went to space on a SpaceX rocket launched from American soil. And tomorrow, NASA and SpaceX are sending four astronauts into space. It will be the first fully crewed commercial mission to the International Space Station. Joining me now live from Houston is NASA astronaut Mike Fink to talk about the historic launch and what it means for the future of space exploration. Mike, good morning to you. Good morning and good morning to all of our friends in Indianapolis and all of Indiana. Awesome, I love that. So tell us, how is the launch of Crew-1 changing human spaceflight, Mike? It's an exciting day. So uh, like you mentioned, we used to have the space shuttle. We don't fly the space shuttle anymore. NASA has been able to focus our, our efforts beyond low Earth orbit. And that's only because we have companies like SpaceX and Boeing that can uh, get us to low Earth orbit uh, on, on spacecraft that they completely own. We're renting it from them, just a rental car or rental spaceship. And we're uh, going to launch the first crewed mission with uh, uh, with four people, it's an operational mission. We had a test flight. We do this in airplanes all the time. You have the test flyers, and now here we have the operational mission. They're going to go to the space station and stay there for six months. And again, that allows NASA to uh, focus our efforts on going to the moon and beyond. But uh, this is uh, this is uh, shows our trust in the Dragon uh, spacecraft that we're sending uh, four people for six months uh, for an exciting stay aboard the space station. Yeah, plus it looks so high tech, and I just love the way how the the rockets come back down so they can reuse them. You can save a lot of money that way. Six months up there. What what's everybody going to be doing during the mission? Well, it's a it's a it, it's a, they're going to further the space station, the International Space Station mission. We've been uh, flying people aboard uh, space station uh, since the the year two thousand, uh, and we've had it continuously crewed. Now we're sending up uh, four people at a time instead of like the Russian Soyuz three. So it's uh, going to be pretty crowded aboard space station. Everyone's going to be able to get their science work done. Um, it's not all science, but it's mostly science. And some of the science that they're working on are they're working with messenger RNA in space. We take gravity out of the equation. You can find out a lot of different things that will help uh, better uh, better um, uh, drugs and things like that on on the planet. Things that will help us, like with leukemia, for example. We're also uh, going to do a radish experiment. Um, if we're going to live, people are going to live in space, we're going to want fresh food. So how do plants mm -hmm. grow in space? Uh, we're actually going to put in plants that we can actually eat. Uh, that's that's a good thing. I, I know when I was up there, I would have loved fresh food. We're also setting the the the, uh, the stage for engineering tests for things that will help us on the moon. And in this case, it's a little less glamorous, but equally exciting is a new space toilet. Um, our space <laughs> toilets, we've had trouble with NASA. The Russians kind of figured it out before we did. But uh, now we have a new compact space toilet that we're going to see if uh, it's going to be able to work in space. So that's just some of the things that this uh, four-person crew, along with the three people we already have aboard Space Station, are going to accomplish every day. And, of course, there's spacewalks and maintenance and lots of other things. So they're going to be busy for six months. All right, Mike, you pretty much covered it all, in, including the space toilet. You can't forget about things like that. You just cannot uh. forget about them. <laughs> Mike, thank you very much. We do appreciate it. Well, thanks for having us, and uh, thanks for helping tell our story. And watch www.nasa.gov uh, for further uh, launch uh, tomorrow night at 7:49. We'll watch a nice rocket. Light this candle. We shall do so. Hey, if you'd like to watch tomorrow's launch, you can go to fox59.com/links, and you'll find that one that Mike was talking about.